What's up, good people? We are back. Industry School Week 37. How's everybody feeling out week there? 96. Good ah. Week 96. ATL in the building. Industry School. KC in the building. You from New York, right? Yes. What part of New York? Chacha be wild, girl. Where's Where are you from? You from Kentucky, right? I'm <laughs> <laughs> hey, from Detroit. West the side. D. West side. side. Cooley High till I die, baby. Buffalo, New York. Buffalo. That's why you, right. you rapping hard in there, okay? Okay, good. Good. Yeah, what are you rapping? I feel like yeah, I just like that. <laughs> no, Rob Hardy. Rob Hardy. Rob Hardy is from Philly. Rob Hardy is from Philly. Every week. So Rob much. That's my boy. I'm rapping, rapping my boy. Okay. Do you, know hey, the, huh? do you know the Bills are the only team to play home games in New York? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't know yeah, that, did you? Y'all the official, like, New yeah, York team. Yeah, see? You, was playing playing you, you, you handle all sports segments. I don't handle sports segments. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Larkin do sports. Right. Yeah, so What's up know, with y'all? A lot going on. Y'all had a good happen. week? It's great week. Man, any, any time. The week go fast, though. Yeah, it does. Thursday comes just like this. Thursday, I feel like I was just here. I feel like I was just here. <laughs> The security no, people downstairs be like, are we know yeah, them again. Yeah, we know them now. <laughs> I know, right? They found out a great week, man. Any, any day, I told this is a class this week, any day you can wake up and, and do what you want to do and pursue your passion, mm. your dream, mm. it's a blessing. So, Is that what we're doing? Up. None yes. of us have real jobs, seriously. No, this is, this is a real job. Real none job. of us have a real job. These are real, this no, is a real, none of us have nine to five. Nine to five. Oh, That's yeah, a blessing. Right. No, I, like, I, literally, what none was of your, us. What was your last nine to five? 2007, I used to work at University of Phoenix. I was an academic counselor. Wow. What? 2007. Oh, I've been grinding funny. for 10 years. I can, I can imagine you as a counselor. Like, counselor. Like, so what guys? So I, I counsel you guys. guys. I counsel all of you. <laughs> so don't you counsel them. Yeah, yeah. Do I need you? No, they were like, I'm going to see you. What was your last nine and five? My last was Barbara. Cut hair. Wow. Yeah. So it was it was 10 like to it. 6. I was an account manager for a uh, company, GC Pro. So I handled uh, Georgia, Alabama, and um, parts of South Carolina mm -hmm. doing um, ABL sales. So I was a major team. Okay. Well, be a real job. That's a real job. No, right. no, no. I, 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 left the, I left the company I almost 11 years in. I had, you know, for I was 10 years. You left to do this. Wow. wow. That's, that's a, yeah. that was a jump. You no, jumped. Oh, I jumped. You made the I'm out show. here. Nobody cares. We're three kids. What, what you used nobody, to do? No, you what, was a comedian since you was two. <laughs> You've been a comedian since I was in nah, college. You know, my, you know, my, my last nine to five, though, I, I worked at a collection agency. I called it <laughs> collected over the phone. I can see you doing that. Yeah. That wasn't hilarious. Did you, did you practice your comedy stuff over there when you were doing no, that? No, no, no. That was dead serious. You did one day money. <laughs> what year was that? I had a day job in like 16, 17 years. Wow. That's a blessing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's been a struggle. Don't get it twisted. Now, I remember seeing you, Sean, back in like, oh, um, four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I still got the same comp, so st still same amount of money in my bank account. Bank. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> you have negative forty five dollars and sixteen cents. Hey, Betty, go Falcons. That's right. That's it. Falcon pride. Oh, so, um, Atlanta Falcons. Some bad Atlanta news Falcons. this week, Atlanta though. Falcons, huh? That's bad news. We had um oh, a death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prodigy, man. Prodigy. Yeah. Oh my is, God. Uh, yeah, my beat, man. This is this is getting tougher and tougher, man. It's like it's like the people that we grew up. You know, listen to the music that passing away. It's yeah. crazy. And they're so young. It's like yeah. they're our age. 42, man. 42. Well, first That's of all, you crazy. know, he suffered from sickle cell for he a long it. time. So, I mean, he could have happened even yeah. younger than it right. did. Yeah, true. Um, yeah. But, Childhood disease is tough like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? Because he had, he had his We don't really know why he died. Over. They don't, they haven't really said well, it was Well, this that. is, in the TMZ reports, and this is hard to say, and nobody, nobody's taking it lightly. TMZ reported that. He choked on an egg. Yeah, what? In the he hospital. In the hospital, he was eating breakfast. He had an egg, and that started this episode. They couldn't bring him back. Oh my god! An that's crazy. I heard so that, but like it's like. Okay. So, well, but he was already in the hospital. So he, he was, was in the, so the, the yeah, yeah, it was 110 degrees. He had a concert. And then he was supposed to have a fan event. He skipped it, and it, you know, Ice T came out and said, "Man, Prodigy walked by, and came came back and said yo, goodbye." What? Then say yo, peace out. He said goodbye. And Ice T was like that's one of the last people that, like seeing me like Wow, um, that's prophetic. And then you know he got he went to the hospital and then you know I guess he was recovering he was eating and stuff and they said choked on the egg and then that started. Jeez, with whatever. Yeah, that's tough, man. That's tough. You know he he had like one of my favorite songs was the one he did with Little Kim. Oh, so, yeah, like, I like that. that was like you know and then. I know Kim, when, when Puffy them came in for the Bad Boy concert, she performed that part. Oh, yeah. Right? And it was just, man, but that was such a cold song, man. Was like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's like, still on my gym playlist right now. His right? verse, when he came, I can't get enough of it. Yeah. <laughs> that's Let me tell you, his, that I mean, album, yeah. the, the Infamous, is in my top five hip-hop albums of all time, period, point blank. There's no discussion about it. Wow. Wow. It's, it's that deep. Let me see, I see you. 
So R.I.P. Prodigy, man. Yes. Keep real hip hop alive. That's what's about real hip hop. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah, care what y'all This comes about. on the week of the whole Tupac. Everybody's been talking about the Tupac. Yeah. They had beef with Tupac. They had beef with Tupac. Yeah, right. and, and they, they, you know, Tupac kind of went hard at him on hit him up. You know, he even right. said something that was like, that was across the line. Right, that, was right. cro- that was across the line moment for me. Tupac didn't give a damn. <laughs> <didn't give> a <laughs> damn. <laughs> nothing was all limits for Pac. Not, Not a damn thing. You. But you know that, that also, that's immense when people say, is he a legend? I said, look, every other rapper considered great. If Tupac had to mention you, Jay had to mention you, then you somebody worth mentioning. No, no doubt, no doubt. He, they like you got to think. Jay, 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 Prodigy, right. Prodigy. No. I mean, Jay took Jay took my head on, like, and he, you know, Jay only responds to stuff he feels threatened by. Mm-hmm. And same with Pop. No, seriously, no. that that album is literally. You can ask twenty people who the real hip hop heads. That's gonna be in their top five. Right. That album is that they great. Had respect. They definitely had respect. Is that Chris Rock's top five? No, no. <laughs> but you know they're a group. You know they're a group. So when people say top five, they name it. You know, but you know they. Um, Puff was talking about his, you know, experience with Mob Deep, and he was like, "Yo, they was just a little bad ass kids, like yeah. coming in the office with, with guns." guns. Yeah. Like, oh Puff would be God. scared, like, "Yo, these are really what they rap about." I didn't know his his grand, grand <laughs> grandfather was the founder of Morehouse. Did you know that? Really? Didn't know that? Yeah. See, yeah. yeah. Why did he? Why did your grandfather was found? That makes wild. sense. They said he grew up, you know, that's what Jay put the ballerina picks up him up on summer oh, wow. So he grew up refined. So he did yeah, ballet. He, 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 he did ballet. He did ballet. I guess he was in some little dance recital. That's the kid. worst. As a rapper, that's the worst thing you can do. They dug the pictures out. <laughs> but oh you know, God. I tell people like that got nothing to do with your grandfather may be prestigious. Yeah. But that had nothing to do with you growing up in the projects. Projects exactly. like you gonna eventually, you know, get out or. Did they ain't in your top five again? No, I'm not. I'm not. I love that song, but they're not. I ain't talking about that song. I'm talking about that album. No, no, no. What? Okay, okay. Anybody, anybody who listen to it? Well, therefore, it's in your top five. Let us know. No, definitely the the, the Biggie albums in my top five. Biggie album. Which one? Oh, Uh, that was just classic. You know what I'm saying? I I was, I would say, I would say uh, the infamous. I would say Nas. Nas is number one to me. Tribe Called Quest is in mine. I could I could say try a couple of Let's relax. I will give you that. I would say I would say uh, Outcast. Um, Outcast definitely. Um, the first playlist, the first, Cadillac music. The first one, yeah. And I, I have to go with Dr. Dre. Dre's Chronic. Yeah, the that's Chronic. Classic, chronic. It's that's so chronic. many to choose from. You got to be so many to choose from. You talking about you talking about the whole album? You talking about an album that you can play all the way through? Right. Jay and Big. It's Jay and Big, and then everybody else get in. Definitely Jay. 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 So speaking of Tupac, how you guys feel? Who all saw the movie? You I didn't see the movie. You seen the movie yet? You saw the movie? I saw the movie. You didn't see it? You know, somebody posted a Snapchat from the concert. Mm-hmm. I'm joking. Nah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> you know how a movie do at his iPhone. <laughs> no, I played. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of bad stuff. I didn't see it. Yeah, a lot of people thought it was good though. Well, here's the thing. That's like regular people, just regular. Yeah, the people that don't really, don't really like purists like, of films and yeah, you know, yeah, people yeah, that. Did, but see, Ed Lover came on his show and he was talking about that they missed a lot of details. He said the, the actors did best. Shout out to the actors; they did a great job, from what I hear. Okay, what would you think? You saw the movie. Well, I mean, if, okay, I put it like this: if you consider what Ed Lover said, and considering what I say, you should have made it a t- made for TV movie. You could have made it for four days. And you could have oh, put okay. in everything you wanted. Or to HBO put movie or something. Or like HBO movie. You could make as long as you wanted to. And you could put everything in there, and you just took your time with it. So I think he, I just I think going to the theaters, I just I thought it was okay. You felt like a little let down by it. It felt it was okay. You know? A little let down. Yeah, did, you, like, did you waste your money? No, I wouldn't say that because okay. I wanted to. I wanted, like I told Dwayne, I was I supported it regardless. I was I was supported, and like I say, I support black films. Like I don't particularly care for Tyler Perry's movies, but I'll go buy a ticket. To his movies, I'll go up the hallway and watch something else mm. just to support black filmmakers. That's what well, I Because you know, we know you got your stick, so mm-hmm. you know, you don't. You got the, I got the stick, baby. You're know, we, we know, <laughs> you buying know, a ticket, that's good. <laughs> we, you know, we know that Jada came out with this whole thing saying that this was not authentic. I'm deeply hurt. Uh, John Singleton came out. Jada Pinkett Smith? Yes, yes. Jada, uh, John Singleton came out and said what he said. He's also saying now that the movie was stolen from Afeni, which is. Is, is up to the debate, but here's the thing. That's a lot. Supposedly, she, she signed off saying she wanted to meet with the people, and that was enough to get her to uh, gag on the family, as well as uh, go ahead and make the movie. Now, to me, I think that that's an old Hollywood tag that's wrong. Right. But if the family's not involved in the movie, how often? That's what they do all be? the time, though. Yeah, he's, Bobby Christine. He's movie. dead. Are you happy about that? I'm what if somebody wrote the Gideon Nick story and stole it from your family? And, and told all kind of stuff that what didn't no, happen. It would not be you would be pissed off. Yes, yes. So you gotta you gotta get a family yes. there. Who would play Ginyanux? Ginyanux. Uh, I would say let's. Who would play Ginyanux? 
I would say, uh, let's, let's go for uh, Taraji Henson. No. It's <laughs> like, no, I love her then. <laughs> to get your next story, I'm sorry, Taraji Henson. Who played you? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Who played me? Who played me? That'd be a very you got it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> the Dwayne Boyd story. <laughs> Some big shoes here. Yeah, we are, we are, we are. Anyway, but no, a lot of people always do movies and they don't have the family support just because it's public knowledge. Or look at Aaliyah. See, the family would piss off. So many, but we, we're, it's we're not, not we're really not getting, good when they don't have see, the family support. Yeah, so that's my point. Yeah. And NBA was involved, right? Ray was involved. Yes. Uh, Tina Turner was involved. When somebody's right. not involved, you know what I'm saying? They don't. It just I don't know why they risk it. You know, and, and what it is, it's like when you. It has to be willing parties on all sides. So you look at certain movies when you say Ray or Malcolm X or Tina Turner, because even the Biggie film was good because you his mom was in Paul. Right. But then little, the, hold on, but then little Kim, Kim was, TV hold on, but yeah, little Kim was wasn't on, down with it. Wasn't little C's like wasn't down. So those parts it felt right. made for TV. It felt weak. It's like it's yeah. something about all the new edition members saying, "Man, yes. yeah. I would say this. I would say this to all you celebrities out there before you pass." Put in your will who Prince. you want. Do Prince. Make your movie before you die. Or make it before you die. I'll say, I want this person to make my movie and have everybody sign off on it. Your that way, when you ain't ever had it. See, that's what I see. That's what you want to make sure. You want to make sure. Eight Mile is an amazing movie. See, you want to make sure that you have the right people involved in the process. And to me, from my understanding, is that. You know, because it takes a team to make a movie, and if you don't have the right team behind True. you making sure, like Jada should have been, Jada should have been an advisor. The mom should have been an advisor, mm -hmm. right? Somebody there, and, it, and, it, and to me, I think that it, it lends to a certain. What was she mad about? Who? The mom. Jada. How she was portrayed. She, she said that. Well, she said it was it was a factual. Issue? No, no, she, she said it just wasn't factual. No, she. she She's said, a really good person. Here's the thing. She said they didn't have an right. argument, and he went off, and that that didn't happen from what she said. She said, look, don't end it like you know we were because we weren't beefing. It wasn't like that. Right. So I never read the poem to her. She was like, yeah, he never read. But see, I, I think. But that's true. But, I'm gonna, I'm but she's been in TV. She knows you got a drum. Yeah, that's what I was saying man. too. I was like, well, it's not what? that big of a deal. But this, this could have been the thing where she said, "Okay, y'all don't have a Benny's blessing. Y'all gonna do it like this? This is how I'm gonna do you." You just never and, know. and I mean, yo, Benny Boone was handed a mess. I mean, they said the the guy Demetrius Ship said the process started in 2011. Mm. That's six years ago yeah. for a movie. Yeah. So how many starts and stops and man? So then the mm -hmm. studio has a point like, yo, put this film out. Then remember, it wasn't picked up for distribution right away because it was a real big deal. That's right. They were yeah, like, yeah, wait. oh look, it's going to theater. So some people had to like look at it and find and be like. All right, we'll put Sometimes it it's not supposed to go to theater. That's true. That's true. Uh, I, I did coach the girl that played the girl that, who raped Tupac. So uh, she raped Tupac. No, no, I'm sorry. The girl that Tupac, you know <laughs> is that possible? You know, yeah. It is. No, it but is. they said that Tupac was raped or something like that. Yeah, that was the thing John Cena. Wow. Yeah. And Jay? John Cena wanted to include that in his right. movie. Which, if it happened, you know, I mean, see, I think that well, sometimes. So you gotta put that you know, out. But, but no, no. But here's the thing: if it happens, you know, saying how authentic is the film going to be? Because that this had some bearing on who this man became. If this happened to him. Because, you know, one thing, um, me and Mac talked about this, one thing Tupac felt betrayed when he got shot by black folks. He said, I'm, I'm y'all voice and this is how y'all do me. You know, and that's what he... he, he Here, I believe <laughs> Pac, when, when he was alive and the rape rumor came out, he said, if I ain't bow down to two niggas with guns in the hallway in New York, you think I'm going to bow down to some nigga in prison talking about he want to rape me? I don't know what, but don't, giant that, don't, that don't mean you don't get raped. But no, he just, you ain't got to be a willing participant. Well, no, he, he just saying like, he just saying That's like, what it's called. He just right. It would, it would have been a fight put up. Like if I'm if I'm fighting two niggas, it's a lot of niggas in jail. It did twenty seven million, I think, open weekend. And the total good. budget was forty five. So hopefully they'll make the money back. Yeah, 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 it was, it was projected down. We'll all see it, right? You're going to see it. Yes, I'm going to see it. You're planning on seeing it. I seen Disney Cars three, and that was like an event. I got that was good. Oh, that movie was that storyline. I'm like, this is for kids, but I was sitting there like. And this is man. number three. Yeah, up had me yeah. in tears, man. So I'm really like, man. No, I, I, I got to the end of the car, and business. it was like, I talked to my kids, and I was like, now, you guys see you can do anything you want. <laughs> he, was in, he was in the mood like, Tomato? Tomato? Yeah. No, for real. I had a little money. And after I talked to my kids, I said, so what's the message? I said, you can do anything or let people tell you. It's never too late. Just because you're in one thing, I mean, you can't become who it is. Y'all need to go see Cars 3. Oh, yeah, Cars 3 was awesome. All right. Disney uh, so, congrats in order for Beyonce and Jay-Z. The twins have arrived. They're going around saying they were a bit premature, mm -hmm. but we got to pray for them, make sure they get it. I mean, and I think that, you know, she's always doing something, so... She needs to sit down and rest, and of course the twins need to recover. So we just, you know, she needs to, she's she's doing a lot. She's a businesswoman. She's a she's a mobile. She just That's had twins. Did, did, they, did, they, did, they, did they text you again? Yeah? Well, actually, what had happened was my phone. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because Gideon has a personal relationship. He's in my head. Friends in my head. With the uh, Beyonce family. She's not just in the beehive. Not Sam Smith. Alright, so what do y'all feel about Bill Cosby? Well, he's a mischief trial. He's a mischief trial. Yeah, he's a mischief trial. And I think that they're saying they're going to retry him. But um, you know, I don't think the evidence was strong enough. I think Did you hear about had, that? You know, for the situation. You know, well, I, I don't understand where there's a mistrial when the the defense came up with her phone records proving she couldn't have been right. sexually abused. So wait a minute. So, so he's, he's right. only been charged with one person. This, 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 one, this, this is this one. This one. This one. one. They said it's 04, so it's not past the statute of limitation. They're trying it, but they proved right. her her time and where she said she was couldn't be accurate because she was on a phone call with a friend, oh, and wow. she had called Mr. Cosby, blew up his phone. He wasn't answering, but she was calling him all night. So they said, how he drugging you and sexually assaulting you and you blowing his phone up? Right. What they did say was they had a... Phone um, records to save you, boy. <laughs> the, yeah, that is say, because you know, that goes back even back when the girl shot you right. Michael Irvin. Right. Like, that cell phone to save you. Phone hanging you. off them. Or phone. get you in trouble. Cell, or get you in trouble. <laughs> right. yeah. So what happened was um, they were saying that they the mother recorded a conversation where he had talked about paying for school for the girl. Mm. For her to pursue her passion and dream in broadcast, because she was, as you tell, she was a hooper. She looked like a uh, Jenner, but um, was he talking in Fat Albert? No, nah, he wasn't. Hey, 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 and he was just giving like, hey. But, but here's where I don't think it was like a payoff. He said the stipulation is she maintain a 3.0 GPA, mm -hmm. and I'll pay for her schooling so she so can she become a broadcast. Maintain. Wow, that was nice well, no, I don't know if it ever happened, but they tried to make it seem like, see, why is he offering to pay for her school if you didn't touch the pudding? The pudding, the pudding, the but I'm like, no one's gonna say, pudding. no one's gonna say, here's money, don't come after me, but you better keep a 3.0. Right, you know, it doesn't make sense. And Bill Cosby has paid for several kids to go to school. That's true. Absolutely. I'm gonna like this. I think, I think Bill Cosby was a great philanthropist. I think he was amazing, but I also think he did his thing. Yeah, he did. He did. I, I mean, ain't, ain't ain't no 40 women. That just don't happen. Yeah, yeah I, ain't no forty fires you know up in your neighborhood. You're not an arsonist. Right, right. Something going yeah. on. But I, I think he. We talking about this particular case it. though. But this particular case, case. He, might, he, he, he was definitely, been, he was definitely getting busy. I don't know if he was if he was drugging him. There was like one of the Dude, stories. He, he has a he has a uh, interview with yeah, the Spanish fly. Larry, I see more than one. That was his thing. Really, more than one. That was his thing. Spanish fly. There was there was a girl. There was a yeah. He was admitting The girl in New York who said, you know. Cosby drug her and got mad at her and drug her down the stairs and held a cab and threw her in there. I said, Bill Cosby in the 80s with a girl drunk over his shoulder hailing a cab in New York throwing her Wasn't back. Wasn't that a model? And nobody walked. Yeah, it was a model. I was yeah. like, just some stuff not that believable because give me a break. There right? was a meme that came out. I think I sent it to you guys where it <laughs> said, it, it, back in the 80s when Q was out in Bill Cosby, who would you thought oh, would yeah. be up, up, up for a possible rape trial? Another one doing Disney movies. It just totally <laughs> I flipped, know, right? Totally flipped. I know. Yeah, right? You just never know. You, you never, know. Know. You never know. know. You just never know. Uh, you can't so judge. OJ you can't judge a person. No, no, no. OJ Simpson's uh, up for parole here next month, so he might be going free. How do you guys feel about this? <laughs> Leave the man alone, man. They, How old is OJ Simpson? 60-something. I don't think he's gonna get out. I honestly don't think he's gonna get released. He's been a model citizen. citizen. That's, that's a clown. A model citizen? They said he's been a model citizen in, in jail. jail. Yeah, yeah. Well, he ain't been a model citizen out of jail. Right, 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 right. They said, but they said, but they said you know what? Anybody else would have been granted parole, but I think because it's OJ, they're gonna deny him. Yes. Yeah. But, I mean, I think he should get out. Yeah, but like, let's, let's be so true. He, he is, yeah. I mean, they they hold him. I mean, really, that time they gave him that was something. That was, that was a set. Where is he in jail? In Vegas? Yeah, in Vegas. In Vegas. Yeah, in Vegas. That was all. Got his, was, stu his stuff. That was inside job. I know. That was inside job. They had the cameras yeah. recording, yeah. taped him. And, yeah. I mean, but just sit your ass still. Right. He said, still in now. jail yeah. or out of jail? Like, out of jail. jail. <laughs> you know he should. You know he. You know what he should have done when he, when he got off of the murders. He should have left his country, went somewhere else, and just lived the rest of his life out. Or. You know, not write a book. Why would you write a book? He, 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 he needed this, money. The show. He needed probably, money. Yeah, he Look lost all his money. Look how many people do things out here for money. I saw, I saw the other that special where he moved to Florida. He was down in Miami. Like, he was wild. Yeah, he was off chain. He was wild. Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw OJ in the club in, in Miami. Well, you know, my, yeah. my father talked about it too, especially when you when you watch the movie, you see Johnny Cochran basically was like, we got to make you black. <laughs> you, yeah, gotta, you gotta make support. But see, my father, my father being from Buffalo, where OJ was here, 
My father was like, man, I ain't got nothing for OJ. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't care about no buff. No, no, if, if you watch the, if you watch the, if you watch the, that he says he's he not and black or white. He didn't OJ. come to the hood, he, and they used to play it. He didn't do anything for the black community. He, he didn't said do anything. It. Remember, he said that in the movie. I ain't but I'm if, OJ. If you yeah, watch, if, if watch the documentary, he was a great five part series. You know, the OJ Simpson documentary. Yeah. They being able to go. Watch it now. They didn't win an award. Yeah, they did. The, the funniest shit, the funniest I, thing I, I, about that whole I, thing was they said he was in the, when he was in the back of the Bronco, he pulled up at his house and all them black folks was in the neighborhood. He said to uh, AC, "What all these niggas doing in Brentwood?" <laughs> and they were trying to support him. Be, be, be his champion. They trying to make him up. Well, it's know, like, I, I feel like we wasted we wasted that opportunity with OJ because OJ didn't get nothing about it. Yeah, well, we could have we could have used that uh, in a subvert on somebody else. <laughs> but, you, but you know yeah, that, that happens one with when I say it's OJ type of cast like. This, this was, and I don't know to do. I want to talk about, but this is kind of how I felt with the whole birth of a nation take down. What? When they was like, oh, they attacking this black man. I said, this another OJ type dude. He don't fool oh, us. Who? Nick Parker. Oh, like, he like that? What? I don't, I don't know. No. He's a wrestler for what he did? No. no. No, we no, no, I don't believe that. Moving on, this, moving on, yeah, moving on. Yeah, I'll be shut up. We'll be back and forth. I, 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 I can't speak on. I can't speak on that. I don't know the, you I don't agree? the details. The after show, we'll talk. Well, yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk. I don't. I don't you can't say it online. You can't say it on Instagram. What you think? I see his point. Put it out there, nigga. Put it out there. That's his point. He's trying to get us to I read a story and I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. No, no, makes a lot of sense. No, but I feel like I feel like I feel like at the end of the day, of course, he, yo. A lot of people say, "Well, he's doing this because they're doing this to him because of the um, because of the film, right? You know, but you know, actually, the man was involved in a crime. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah, years ago, yeah. and he didn't. He wasn't like. Let me you tell know, you something. You know, I'm, he got, he got I'm sorry for what happened to her, but I was <laughs> really wrong doing it. He didn't play himself. And they was like, "Who does he play himself?" You know, just the white people was like, "This cocky just just just, just, just just the fact just the fact that he was um a situation a situation where um he he wasn't remorseful." Oprah tried to help him. Oprah, Oprah tried to help. Yeah, yeah, when you tell Oprah he didn't, no, he didn't when bow Oprah down. Said, hey, I can help you. But that's the problem. Why do we have to bow down? Well, he didn't do nothing wrong. That's the problem. Though. Though. You gotta play the game. But why you gotta play the game it's though? The, it's the game. What you gonna keep it real? Be broke. Be unemployed. I gotta play some type of game. Man, I play the whole thing. So I, so I. You gotta play some type of game. You play the game. You play the game. You play the when it's necessary, when it's beneficial to her. She play the game. She's getting the fourth quarter. She got all the pieces, don't she? When it's necessary, come on, man. This is what it is. It's the game. You know the story. You can't be in Hollywood and not play the game. I'm gonna say this. I guess we're talking about Noir Cameron. He's very OJ-ish in his belief that he was the the exception, not the rule, and he learned. But he was trying to make this movie year for years. So. He, he learned, and he, and he had a lot of people behind the scenes that was giving him the money. Your man, what's it called? Red Tail. They, they didn't talk about it, but there was a lot of support from, uh, what's the dude? Uh, Steve Silver. No, uh, Red Tail. Um, George, George Lucas. Lucas. George Lucas. Lucas. Mm -hmm. oh, Lucas had big influence on that movie, but Lucas seen how Red Tail performed, so he said, I'll step back. This would be a young black man's movie. Mm. But he was, I, cause see, I pay attention to what you're doing the score at Lucas Studio. For, for so George, so, mm. oh yeah, okay. for for uh, Birth of a Nation. Mm -hmm. So I know George Lucas is behind it. He's married to the natural black woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love so, that. So you know what I'm saying? It's all good, but it was like it wasn't what we thought. It wasn't this. Oh, now you like it, and the other time you don't care about no. No, I'm saying I like that George Lucas is married to a black woman. <laughs> oh, yeah. See how this is? See how this is? Yes, sir. Had Beyonce married a white man. If he's working in a steel plant, you wouldn't care. Had Beyonce married a white man, we'd have a problem. Shut um, up. Moving on, guys. Daniel Day Lewis retires, officially retires from acting. I think that's a travesty. Daniel Day Lewis was one of the greats. Oh, my God. And he's saying enough is enough. Why is he retiring? What's yeah, the why? Why is he retiring? He's tired of it. I guess he got enough money. I mean, what can he won three Oscars. Oscars. Yeah, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe he, you know, he's but coming he, out on time. He's one of those actors that gets so, and when he paid play A. Right. Lincoln, he went and lived in a cabin without electricity. That movie was amazing. That, 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 dude, that dude, was like, you got to think been. how exhausting. He might be like, do I feel like doing that? Because he's not just going to get a script and show up. No, 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 no. He put they say his notes. They say his notes for scripts and stuff is like you could make another whole script from. They was just showing how wow. involved he is with the work. I mean, He's Morgan Freeman. Freeman. He's Morgan so Freeman is basically a hologram. He's still out here. <laughs> <laughs> we need if Morgan Freeman dies, who in the world is uh, going to do what he do? Yeah, man, that just, he, I he don't know. Times laying tactics. Al Sharpton's selfies are going viral. Well, yeah, yeah. He actually uh, yeah. said if uh, Trump can tweet uh, a selfie. You know, I love it. Trump can tweet. I love it. 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 I
I mean, why not? He's put yourself so out skinny, there? though. You see how much weight he looks. I was trying to was fat. Like, he looked like a bobblehead, though. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think it's that. It look crazy. Right. Yeah, the you know, I see remember when he was fat? We can't even remember when he was fat. No. Because he's so skinny yeah, right now. Yeah, he's doing his thing, man. Oh the way he God. takes a selfie looks I need to lose some of that. You see his whole body in a selfie. And, he's like, yeah. <laughs> and when you do a selfie from this way, your head is, is yeah. more dominant. Yes. Like, so it just, uh, you know what I'm saying? You might he, need to step but back. The, the crazy, but the outfit he look like he got from Walmart. I mean, at least, get, at least go to Where's his grandkids? They need to help yeah. him out. Where's his <laughs> family? Well, look, Al Sharpton been doing his things since the 60s. He probably, I ain't telling you. I like that. Right. Right. George Clooney right. said his, um, sold his uh, tequila brand for $1 billion. I just Jeez. saw it. On, $1 billion. I just saw it on the truck. And it was Ooh. him and some guy sitting on the truck. And it, I mean, anything George Clooney oh. touches is pretty much. Touches. There's yes. money out here to be made, people. Yeah. Like, I need to create some kind of something. Well, hey, hey, and then sell it. it. We're about, about to sell any scoop. Two, 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 yeah. $100,000. <laughs> $200,000. Hey, hold on. I'm selling short. Sell a short. Don't sell it short. $350,000. dollars we are going to get a quarter million for the first season. And then we Can we just get a sponsor? Yeah, big shout out to George Clooney, man. Doing his thing. He's, he, you know, he went from Facts of Life to that. Imagine that. Yeah, he was on Facts of Life. That is wow. a yeah, major sure jump, man. You know what I'm saying? He was a he really has, He's had a huge career. career. Yeah, yeah. He has, he has, he yeah. Had I heard, heard like him and other actors, they can go to like Japan and China. Do a cut, do a commercial and make like five, yeah. ten million dollars. Yeah, he's what? doing commercials just like in China. Pitt, like Don Cheadle, yeah. these guys that are big, big time. Go, go it's that overseas cities. money. Yo, it's that overseas yeah. money. Well, no, they, really? say that with, they say that with athletes. That's why it's so big to win a ring. Mm -hmm. People are like you're chasing ring. They say once you're a champion, mm -hmm. the way the Chinese culture is structured, they honor champions differently. Mm -hmm. You could be. They said LeBron James was this great basketball player, but until he won a ring, they said his brand in China mm -hmm. was not a, you're not well, the champion. Well, look at Steph, yeah. Stephon Marbury. He plays over there and wins, champ wins championships. Oh, he's, he's a guy. He's a guy. He's, yeah. he's yeah. the champ over there. Yeah, time for our uh, Snapshot segment. Snapshot. <laughs> All right, segment two here. So, uh, movie TV updates, guys. Wonder Woman had a huge success. Uh, Gail Godot only made $300,000. She's supposed to receive some huge bonuses based off box office numbers, which she will get, but she planned on... Uh, renegotiating for the sequel, which is going to be a sequel. So they already, uh, Patty Jenkins is already writing the sequel. You saw Wonder Woman? I haven't seen it yet. I want to see. I haven't seen have it. Have you seen it? I haven't seen it. What about you, Sean? What I, What am I supposed to be Wonder seeing? Woman. Wonder Woman. I have not seen it. It's done like five hundred I'm, 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 I'm taking my mom this weekend. Oh, I see, okay, she, nice. I see they're at like two. So she did another. No, five hundred and something. They did another forty million this weekend. Yes. Weekend. Yeah, five hundred well, million. Well, I think I think they got they got a, they got a movie. Like this was the setup movie. Now it's all maybe it's worldwide. I don't know, but I saw. I can't wait to see her with the whole Justice League. That's what I want to see. Then you yeah. should I should I watch it at the movies or should I go Fire Stick? That kind of movie you need to watch <laughs> at the movies. <laughs> Shit, I you can only watch it. At the no, but my <laughs> thing is like, listen, with her, she only got three hundred thousand dollars to do that. Are you serious? How much? Three hundred thousand. Yeah, but, 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 but she'll, she'll, she'll get paid. Residuals, incentives, and all that stuff yeah. is about to break. It don't matter. Wow. Wow. What, what sure. man would get that? Nobody. That's yeah, crazy. What did she blame me for this? What is your favorite Fast Furious? She was in the Fast Furious franchise. Okay, I give that plan. Black dude. She played. Three hundred thousand dollars. You see what I'm saying? Like Hancock this is the contrasty. This is horrible. This is this is good. God, there are other feminists out there. She's gonna make her check off the first one. I mean, the next one. So she's gonna get paid. Well, and then obviously, she should probably be playing one of them for ten more. You never know. She can get hurt. She can get. She's her in the contract. She's she's locked in. Well, speaking of if she stays healthy. They're shooting the new Han Solo spinoff movie with a guy, the young guy. The guy looks just like Han Solo. Uh, you know, my, my, my boy in it from Atlanta, um, Charles Gambino, you know, my man, uh, Donald yeah, Donald Glover's in it. Oh, He's playing Lan young Lando Calrissian. Nice. But the, uh, there's two directors, these two brothers, Lord and I forgot their names, but they just, got fired. Out too well. they just got fired from the, from the project. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, creative differences. And now Ron Howard is stepping in to finish the movie. Wow. You've seen this happen That's a, a big lot. Name. You've seen this happen a lot where uh, production company, they bump heads with the directors and they get fired or whatever and they part on different Who ways. gets fired? The director or the, the production fired. company? No, the production no. company. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it, happen, it just happened with, um, it happened with the uh, Justice League. When they get fired, Jack Snyder, his, his daughter committed suicide, so he needed to step over the project and Josh Whedon came in to finish it. So you see that happen quite Everybody's quickly. replaceable. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Because sometimes yeah. these directors, they will think they're... As long as they don't have to replace Chewbacca. <laughs> you can't replace now, you, replace now you know Billy D had a tough time when he played at Parker back in the day. Really? Why is that? Didn't they say didn't Billy D say? Because he, he like hated him. <laughs> he was on what was the ship they were on? The Millennium Falcon. 
He was on the Millennium Falcon with a Colt 45. You can't be <laughs> drinking and flying. No, <laughs> you can't be drinking. No, what it was, I'm gonna tell you what it was. He was, I got he was a cold ultimate. Cold. You know, he was ultimate turn. He cold. pretty much. I got a cold he, he betrayed Hyde and Chewy and everybody, and <laughs> set him up with Darth Vader. So we did hate him for that. Yeah. Like, so, and I was like, he, he, he said fan. Like, movie. Yeah, he said yeah. fan. He said that dirt. He think. That was huge for him to be in it, but he said he felt like his career. Just oh like, yeah, people hated his character. Yeah, weird. Yeah. He turned, you know, he turned him into Darth Vader. Sometimes people can't get over that character. Yeah, Darth Vader just, like, yeah, just yeah. shared a cold, cold forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> he redeemed himself. He redeemed himself. He redeemed himself. No, hit the red button. Damn it! Is it on video? No, he, no. he redeemed himself at the, in part three when he came back and helped. Well, he actually redeemed himself in the movies. He helped him start setting up a plan. So, right. Yeah, but what I did he do? What did he say? He said. Darth Vader, do you want to share Coke, Coke 45? <laughs> Anyone after Leah said, you just going to let my hand fall off? <laughs> Keisha Cole is the newest cast member of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. A lot oh, of backlash wow. for this. She apparently gets $1.5 million to do the shows that first season. So what for Love and Hip Hop? Yeah, one, I don't know. Almost got she gets Yeah, no, 1.5. I'll run it. 1.5 to do the show. Yeah. For the season. Yeah. Because you know they're making it mean she's selling fish dinners outside the Super Bowl. I, I mean, <laughs> she's getting a lot of backlash from her fans. Are you trying to say fans. she ain't making no money? Well, well I mean, what is she doing? Remember that was a joke when she came her. at Michelle uh, from Destiny's Child. I always messing up. They say, y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. Beyonce brought out the rest of Destiny's Child. Mm -hmm. She was like, uh, always messing it up. Like she came at Michelle and the, what would you call the it? Beehive. The child, not the beehive. The, Child fans, I would, do they have Destiny a child Legion of Destiny no. Child Destiny fans? Went Destiny off Knights. on her. <laughs> went off on her. You know she had that promo picture when she first came out by the fence. Mm -hmm. It's like meanwhile Keisha outside the Super Bowl by <laughs> the fence selling fish <laughs> dinner. Yeah. Selling fish dinner. Internet is, Frank, the internet is undefeated. Right. Yeah. I, no, no, but would you? I mean, is that a step back? I mean, no, no, no. it could be a step. Wait, if we're, we're honest, we wasn't talking about Keisha Cole. She was in a relationship with somebody. Yeah, she was with Birdman for a while. Yeah, so if she's not, you know, she, she, she doesn't have like That's a, a, that. That a, was a that was self sustaining like, uh, career. Well, well she just doesn't like, have any new music. She's, I don't know what it is. But she's she's man. That's she's tough. sexy to me, man. Because you like you like the little, little bit of hood. Do it for me. Get all, get the little hood you want. She'll cuss you out. Oh, Keisha do it for she'll me. She'll cuss you out. You Keisha, like that? I like Keisha. Oh, Keisha do it for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> she, she would have been somebody in my high school. I'll be. I eat your fish sandwich, Keisha. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, but she, hey, man, you, you can get one point by me and do a reality show. I say, why not? Yeah, I mean, if you're going to sell out, you're that's you're how you sell out. out. No, right. <laughs> right, right. So we got you said you do think it's a sellout, then. So uh, big congratulations are going out to T.I. Starting an executive produce uh, in a new scripted drama for Atlanta, called Atlanta's Most Wanted, on Fox. Rob Hardy's also a part of the project. Big shout out to Rob and T.I. Rob, Hardy. Rob Hardy's yeah. making major moves. One of my own. One of the, yep. uh, right here in the ATL with us, man. Rob's a great guy. So I hit him. Actually, text me and say, congratulate him. That's what's up. Mm. He'll be back says, thanks, man. Really appreciate that. That's so, what's up. Yeah, he's doing his thing, man. So this guy has got, you know, this is his, what, second series now with the quad and now this? That he's mm -hmm. executive producer, mm -hmm. making major moves. You know what I'm saying? I think it was smart for T.I. because people are going to watch it just because T.I.'s in it. And it's about Atlanta. What yeah. is the name of the show? It's called Atlanta's Most Wanted. Yeah. yeah that it, sounds man. like it's something like I want to watch. New York Undercover. Right. Yeah. 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 And we haven't had well, a show well, like that in a while. I need to be writing for this show, Rob. What's up, man? You a writer? Yeah, you don't do that. You don't do that on air again. You really pitch. You didn't pitch. She said, "Oh, you're right." I know you. I'm ready to. I'm ready to play a detective or something. Yeah, you you will most no, likely no. get a job. Hey, big shout out to Rob. But Rob, 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 you know, cop roles is my lane. This is uh, this is what I do. I'm the cop. I'm actually heading to uh, Queen Sugar this week. I'm about to work on Queen Sugar. That's really? That's what, you like that show? What? I love yeah. that show. I'm on the show. I'm on the show this week. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. What is your character? Dr. Troy Cantrell. Dr. Troy Cantrell. You're a doctor. I don't know Dr. Troy Cantrell. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, With he's, the white coat? Yeah, the whole night. Mm. My audition was, uh, my audition was uh, I went all out. I dressed the part. So. I know you did. Yeah. Yeah. That's a scope. And... No, I didn't do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I'm excited about it. Queen Sugar is a big show, big show. So, But I do play Dr. Troy. See if you get somebody to come on the show. I mainly play cops. I play cops. That's what you I. You okay with cops that? With cops? Mm -hmm. I'm a good cop. I'm a good. You I'm, okay I'm, with I'm legally paying cops? Yes, girl, I'm, okay, I'm okay with getting the check and working. That's what I'm okay <laughs> with. Man. I can't even be mad at that. Right. So, cops and soldiers and dads. That's my lane. I'll take that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but um, yeah, that's gonna be. I'm excited. Atlanta's most wanted. Any any show with Atlanta in the title is gonna do well. Uh -huh. Well, not necessarily, but it's a yeah. good look. 
But I just think right now Atlanta has that kind of eye on it and everybody wants it. Like that's why people come yeah, to they go and watch to see if it's good. When your people and come to Atlanta, good, they'll they'll watch. when your people come to Atlanta, they want to do what? What's the first thing they want to do when they come to Atlanta? We're a reality show already. <laughs> We're Porsche. We're strip club. Sure. My dad, my dad club. just think everything. You know my wife do hair. He's like, yeah, you know, see your wife done doing hair, so you know, do all the housewives, Charlotte. She don't know them. you they want to go to Tyler Perry. You know Tyler Perry. Right. Oh no, my dad called yeah. the other day because when John also was like, what? Y'all doing that? All the people watching Tyler Perry is that y'all can't go. I said, Dad, it's the Sixth District. There's nothing to do. He was mad when Barack lost. I mean, um, you know, Barack would lose Georgia. He would think all the niggas in Atlanta. <laughs> Dad, this is Georgia. You take two steps outside Atlanta. Right. We're not twenty far enough. You Ain't number Trump signs. Yeah, yeah. Fifty Cent is also uh, executive producing a new drama series uh, called Crackle, starring Aaron. That's Scarpetta. Mm -hmm. Remember him? He played uh, Bobby in the Whitney Houston biopic. Yeah, remember so him? This is, I didn't see the Whitney Houston biopic. I, I, I refused to watch it. Remember that. Final Destination? Yeah, I do remember that. The black guy? Okay, okay. Yeah. That's good stuff. So good shot yeah. him. 50's getting his get it in, ain't he? What? 50 kind of came at the Tupac movie, though, didn't he? He came oh, hard he at the Tupac didn't like it at all. Yeah, yeah, he came hard at the Tupac movie. He did, he did. He I don't know, but he's, I mean, he got a winner with power, so people definitely don't want to know what's going his, on his here. Show, his show is popping, so. That's what I'm saying. You can't hate on him. Once, you, once you're successful in something, they automatically, you have an ear. In, in 50s, you know what I mean, 50s done a bunch of straight to DVD movies right. since, but his initial movie, Get Rich or Die Trying, did great. Mm -hmm. That's actually wasn't a bad movie at all, so. Yeah. I guess he feel like he got legs to stand on. Mm -hmm. He really does, I mean. 50's producing it, you interested. Well, somebody said 50 should have played Tupac. I was like, what? Oh, Shut up. No. <laughs> <laughs> we would have been like, <laughs> dear mama, all buffing. Yeah. 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 No, nice. 50, 50's figured it out, man. I mean, now, can, can you, so we know we love power, right? Yes. So people said, like, power somebody, comes back yeah, on the week, 24th. This is Saturday. Rich town. Yes. So people feel like. I'm going to a power like, party. A power party. Yes. People, oh, feel, like, people feel like, uh, <laughs> whenever, whenever, uh, like, like they say, you know, with him being behind a Tupac movie, it would have it been, you know, a little more thing. You guys believe that? Does 50 have that kind of pull? No, why? Well, he feels like, he feels like, you know. Why would 50 feel like he has an ear to the street? Like, he's that guy when it comes to this kind of stuff. I actually don't know. I don't know who could have been behind. The, John the Singleton should have directed it. Yeah, but but I, even then they had some issues. So you they know, just should have worked it out and not yeah, rushed I mean, it. So you gotta, you gotta wait. This is the sad thing. There was really time. nobody that you that you could say should have been behind this part that was close. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. But I like. I think no, there was people because one of his boys was saying that. He stayed away from it or whatever, whatever. Yes, I, mean, I, don't know. I think, I think, yeah. I think they needed. Uh, yeah, they, Napoleon came out and said, "Yeah, exactly." They needed, they needed <laughs> I like all the real movies, <laughs> right? Playing themselves. <laughs> they, they needed, I think they needed like a real art tour, somebody who was really a filmmaker to make this movie. And not still, no, not gonna be boom because that's a that's a huge. But you need somebody that, like like I said, you need somebody that's been in the game for a long time that can really, really. But you need somebody to know the culture too. That's true. This that's is true. about the culture because these culture us, we are gonna be like what? You know, like good and why do you have an iPhone in a movie? Like that's just what? continuity. Good, good, that good, good Fellas was made by uh, Martin Scorsese. Think about that. Yeah. You know who would be better to tell that kind of story? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, so yeah, if you're gonna yeah. tell a Tupac story, you need to have. You, you better have. Like that. Yeah. Okay, again, baby, oh, John, John, John still made the movie. Yeah, very great. Right. Yeah, he needs to set up. Because after straight out of Compton, I'm like, he beat like that. That was a problem. People felt like the bar so high. People felt like straight out of Compton got to kind of set Tupac up for failure because if it wasn't gonna be as good, everything sets it. It's just like Get Out. Any movie you make now, you gotta. Everything has to if be. If it ain't good, get out. It's gonna be yeah. Damn. But you know what? Has to I look be. at it like this though. If I pay my money to go and see a movie, I can critique that movie. I did not like Batman vs Superman. I'm a huge Batman fanatic, but for me, that movie was garbage. And I said it, and the people got at me for saying it. But at the end of the day, if I pay my money and I don't like the film, and I tell you why I don't like it, you gotta respect that. And but not only that, if the mass, the majority of people right. don't like it, right. something's wrong. But here's something's the thing: nobody said that about Straight Outta Compton, did they? Everybody loves Straight Outta Compton. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Will Packer. That was, that was one of the best movies in the last year. Yeah, yes. Did, and like I said, you need a real no, producer that know what he's doing. The first, the first doing. two or three minutes when the tank came down the street, the dope, I said, oh, this is oh, this is really good. Oh, they man. captured 1987. Easy. And then they career. I was like, yo, that's yeah, it, was, it was, that was real. Do you remember, you remember them things. That, that was real. Yeah, right. Boston do yeah, yeah, they were doing that in the Midwest. It was crazy. Like, so, if you don't have that, then you chill. Don't yeah. do nothing. Yeah, Jamie Foxx is set to the executive producer drama series called Displaced. And, um, so there's a lot of trend right now with musicians getting into music. And yeah, look at all these um, executive producers. Yeah. T.I., yeah. 50, yeah. Jamie. Like, what's you up? Know, Jamie we need to hear some of these celebs on money. You know, you know what happens? He is said what? That Jamie been putting shows out just on the, He wasn't really like, look at me, what he's been doing. Like what? Right. 
for a while, like when they would reboot stuff like Apollo, that was Jamie Foxx. That was a lot. He was just doing stuff and well, being quiet. About here, here's it. the thing, too. Here's the thing, too. I think that now that the music game has changed, people need other other other, other avenues to reinvent themselves. And right. music and TV and film goes together. It goes together. A lot of and a lot of people that they're working with. Well, it goes TV. together now because yeah. the music business it always has. As well. It always has. So they, new, these new, people are looking for soundtracks another industry. Movies, they soundtracks to movies. So, yeah, well, they are. They are. Because yeah. like I said, I, I watched that. And if you guys hadn't seen it, uh, there's a great documentary on Spotify um, about uh, my man that um, violated Chris, Chris, um, Chris Light. His, Chris Light. Whole, it was such a great documentary. Mm -hmm. It's on Spotify. It's like a six-part series. And he talked He talked about He talked about a lot of it to where... You know, like like it started to decline, and they all saw it coming. Like mm -hmm. that's why he had to do the deals with the to get to get the uh, oh, to get the uh, more money. You know what I'm saying? Because the the, the, the DVD sale, I mean, the, 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 movie, the music sales were going down. From the, the digital streaming killed that. Right. So they went from getting these big deals, going triple platinum miles and stuff, to making no money yeah. overnight. When digital hit, change the game. Yeah, yeah the everybody's feeling it. I'm just saying. We as new filmmakers, we need to hurry up right. because we about to not have no job. No, you see what I'm saying? You, you, we can't even get an opportunity. Every day. It looks like a main brand producer. You know, right, every day is just pumping out. You're seeing more of this show. That's what I'm show, saying. Some content. Because they, they were talking about the TV bubble right. coming. Because remember for a while, nobody was doing TV. And all you got these super successful filmmakers and Will Packers, these other people. Yeah. And then it's like, TV's let me get some TV. And then mm -hmm. you're like, he got three, four TV shows. He's like, oh. Because yeah, even, even celebrities, like real movie stars, didn't want to do TV. Right. And then now they're, and they're like, like, man, let me carry Washington. And they're going to look at when Scandal go off, she's going to look at them checks. <laughs> from six, seven seasons of Olivia Pope. Right. Cookie and I'm Terrence sure Howard. And... <laughs> B T no, awards are this Sunday too, so B T awards well, to be, be, be a great time for us to go out there and make some connections with the music. Right. Team. What does that mean for emerging filmmakers? What, right? BT Valeria? What? I mean, you I don't know. know. We you still have to do your work. We, no, have, to, do your work. we have to be content. We gotta constantly be putting things out, yeah. constantly yeah. be thinking, creating. There, I mean, there's it's, someone it's, I look at it like this. There's someone being born today that would be a star one day. That true. We don't know who they are. True. There's some there's somebody that's already there's a 50 year old that's going to be a star. We don't know. There's sure. some, so I look at it You'll like there's always room. Well, somebody asked what I see you over there. Okay. Is that Valeria chiming in? Mm -hmm. Okay, Valeria B. Okay. Okay. But here's the thing, you know, we can't be mad when somebody comes and, like, like uh, right now. No, we're not. We can't yeah, Earl Gotti's got tails. And he yeah, that's coming year, out when? This coming weekend. Out, yeah, I'm actually in the first episode. That looks, nice. that looks, that, like, I was impressed with the, yeah, yeah. the shooting up, like, the, the size. So, no, you, you, you can't really be mad because Irv went and got his own deal. He made his own project right. and everything else. And that's but that's the thing. Here's the difference. They He already have a name for himself. Right. So he can get in a door. He can that's get true. a meeting with an executive. Right. Every day we talk about things we trying to do. Right. Where's the funding? You trying to get funding for your stuff. Who's helping us? Like, and what do we do? You talk about that music to feel. Look at Mona Scott. She was... I mean, via, she had one of the she biggest hip hop management companies yeah. and then flipped it to T. Her empire is crazy. Right? People you, hate on her, but you gotta like respect this, what she's doing. This is what you have to do. You have to line yourself up with a T.I. or somebody else and walk, they'll walk your stuff in. You can get somebody in your You gotta have like content. Because yeah, you, know, you gotta team. say, you look at this. Right. You gotta know a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. Can you walk this in? T.I. is in a building. Netflix won't deal with you unless you got an actor attached to your project or an actor, a strong showrunner, a writer. You gotta have somebody that's gonna vouch for you in a sense. They won't vouch for you. You know, it's just hard to get to do it. I'm going to hit you about that, too, uh, Black Creator. Yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, I just think that right now, with, with, the, with the trend, the climate of where we are with filming. Let me ask you this. Would anybody do a reality show? Sean, you are touring all Sean stuff. should do a reality show. Would you do a reality show? I think you should. Why not? I just, I just like change your like life in a day. Arguing and fighting in the street. Do you argue? <laughs> I, like I just wouldn't you sell. Know. No, I'm not. I'm not interested. You I mean, what if you could control what I'm you want to show? Like, you want to show the grind. You like, yo, I'm not doing none of this. That's more, but that's more of a documentary. Okay. As opposed to a reality show, because a reality show really ain't real. Right, right. It's scripted. I mean, they say. But it's kind of real a little bit. Nah, but it's. No, it's it's. Come it's on, scripted. you know better than that. No, no, no. Isn't? I know it's scripted, but what I'm saying is like it's real emotions. They got real situations. Yeah, yeah somebody, somebody, somebody slap you. Of course, you're gonna cry for real. <laughs> Throw this drink in Sean's face. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, the no yeah, It's yeah. the most embarrassing thing I'm seeing that. I'm, I'm sitting there one day. I just happened to cut it on TV. I was at home and I cut TV on, and they were 
sitting in a bar. I think it was Carly Red and somebody else. And they were sitting there just in Buckhead somewhere talking. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they start fighting. They had to call the cops, pull them apart. I'm like, what is this? Why is this the trend? How is T.I. Family Hustle the most family friendly <laughs> reality <laughs> show out there? Like, they are the hip hop hustables. Yeah. Right. They got back together. I you told know? you 10 years, like back in 09. To have a camera to to be on you and like actually do your reality show, you never did it. You should have did it. No, you could have been putting out something right now. I don't want people in my black business like that. I don't want people to know everything about me. But it don't have to be personal. It could be you That's teaching. It could be. Yeah, but that didn't even cancel. That didn't too boring. This guy giving all this positive motivation. Right, right. Well, you it had, it it had other acting teachers. Sean, go smack it. Had go other, smack teachers, it other acting teachers come into the class and throw a drink at us. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's exactly Actors what happens. Actors in your class. Yeah, right. That would be interesting. Much. No, it would have ruined my business. <laughs> no, and honestly, big shout out to uh, Rob because he told me this before. Uh, Rob Hardy, I think, uh, love, no, no, I'm sorry, Atlanta Housewives wanted mm -hmm. to come on for a couple of episodes to mm -hmm. be a coach. I was like, I'm thinking about it. And then Sean, Rob said, if you do that, you know, you got to be mindful that this is what, this is, this is reality TV. Anything can happen. And I was like, damn, you're right. I didn't think about that. Really? Yeah, because, you know, you got to think, man, at the end of the day, uh, your brand is important. I think yep. that, that, that uh, I think that was a situation where uh, your brand is nobody. You're in Roman with the If you're branding, you I'm, can't mess your brand. Now, if I get 1.5 million, that's what I'm saying. Like, no, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's got to be worth. What's, 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 what's the guy that went on there? He was a caterer or something, and they they kind of ruined his business after that. Really? They start talking junk about his business. You don't want that kind of press on your show. You you don't know it's risk. It's a risk. And yes, yeah, you don't you don't know what you're getting yourself into. You feel like oh that was a good session. They leave like I think I'm gonna find somebody other way. Or you know what? He's just not giving me. I coach. Still, season like, came and it was like something different. We want to wait for somebody said an alert on my phone. Then Jazz, like, Jazz said somebody. Right. Then Jazz like something about her that was classic. classic. No, because they did that on um, what's Damon Wayans? Damon Wayans, his show, uh, Married. What was his show? Uh, my, my wife and kids. My wife and kids. When they changed the daughter. And the daughter was light skinned, then she came back dark skin. They was like, we said Clippin' Clippin'. She's been in the sun too long. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's the kid, little kid on Family Matters went upstairs and never came down? Right. One, somebody, said Wait, the only, somebody said the only on video. Yeah. The but, only on video? But for um, the one little kid, I think it was a little girl on Family, Family Matters. Matters. Went upstairs and never came never down. Came oh back. my and God. She's a little girl. 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 She's a No, but being a child actor is hard. That's tough. Yeah, being a child. I guess they felt like they weren't getting the dynamic out of it. Like, what? Being a child porn actor is even harder. No, I mean, man, shut I mean, your I mean, mouth up. I mean, I think, I think, I think, I think, too, what happens, what happens is, um, you know, with these kids, they grow up in the business, they business a lot, and it's just a tough haul, man. I mean, how do you transition yeah, from. You can't work at Target. Kid, no, no, like, how tough. can you? Like, I think, uh, what's the what's the kid? Roscoe Dance, the rapper, the young rapper that was on um, um, that song, No Hands, where he's, yeah, well, he's yeah, a Lyft driver now. He's a Lyft driver now. They they, 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 and they have to they have to be able to make money. They have to. You know, how Who's the most successful child actor? I, I gotta say, um Cody Cole. Oh, um, no, Alfonso. No. no, but they got it around for What's the one that played oh god, I can't think of his name. Uh, Beyonce's the most successful child right? because she's they still get money as uh, your girl, um Raven. She no. is being a raven. She is. I don't know. She's she's not even the most successful. So the, the the twins, the um oh, the yeah, white girls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, they Olsen twins, Olsen twins. Yeah, but they, but they, not they are huge. But they nutty. No, but they they're, they're, some they're like a billion. No, 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 no. no. They, are they married now? But the Olsen no. twins, they married some old men. No, yeah, they, 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 they That's not how they make their money. Want, they no, 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 they yeah. paid. But yeah. I'm saying they not acting no more. They good. No, they're not. They don't even want to. So no, we're talking about the transition. What's the guy from Horrible Bosses? What's his name? Which one? That was a child actor. Oh, 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 Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman. He was a child. He's been. He's become very successful. But he took a long break. So a lot of them that take he a did. long break, yes he did. He right. took a long break and then he came back. Right, right. And I was like, oh, Who's like somebody you know? that's like just stayed? That's a hard Nobody. thing to do. It's a hard thing to do. See, even Urkel's having a hard time working. Urkel, I ain't yeah. seen Urkel since. Yeah, he's been a couple things, but he's had what? a yeah. He was in a dream girl. Remember he was in Dream Girls? What's the name? What's the name uh, uh, yeah. from The Wire? I just started following Michael B. Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Wait. Michael B. Jordan. He was a child of The Wire. He was a little kid. Oh. start watching what? I just started following him on um so um Instagram. Oracle? Yeah. Good stuff, man. Yeah, he, he I, had a good post. I got a conversation. He he did a web series that was really funny. Uh, that I thought he did a few years back. So he's writing his own stuff. I and mean, we had a phone conference with him. He said he's been writing and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. it's good. Neil you. Patrick Harris. Yeah. Doogie Howser. Yeah, yeah, oh, true. yes. He, yes. He oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. He stayed in the game. Yeah. Who ever watched it? You used to watch Doogie Howser? I never watched yeah. Doogie yeah. Yes. 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 That was yes. awesome. He was a doctor. He a little journal at yeah. the end, delivered a bit. But he took a break, too. And then yeah. he came back to crazy. Silver Spoon was his name, Schroeder? Ricky Schroeder. Ricky Schroeder. Yeah, he stayed in Ricky Schroeder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I used to, see, that's Alfonso Rivera. Yeah, yeah, Alfonso yeah, yeah. Rivera, right? He, he was, was the show. tech dance kid. Yeah, he was he, a Michael Jackson he, commercial. Yes. And he kept been working. He's worked consistently for he's the last 30 years. Mario Lopez. Yeah. Jim Fields. 
Yeah. Kim Fields. Oh, Kim Fields. Kim Fields. But we haven't really seen Kim do no. She's acting, directing. Though. She's more. She's directing. Why the other girls from from uh? Let me sing. Let, no, the facts of life. Facts of life. The facts of life. Y'all kind of moved out of business. Y'all kind of yeah. They all kind of. Yeah. Where is Joe? George Clooney. George Clooney. George yeah. Clooney was in there. They all kind of moved. I think it's Charlotte Ray. He's a billionaire now. Hello. Mom, she died right. Passed away. I mean, oh, the major, the major, the major. yeah, yeah, she was, yeah. She was, she was, she was Charlotte Ray's her name. She was, she was eighty. <laughs> <laughs> look at Betty White. She's still. Oh, did y'all see, see what Betty White looked like? Betty had. Betty had. Did you watch the documentary? No, she has a documentary. I'm sorry, it was a biography. I'm sorry. Okay. I tell you, this lady, this lady, to me, I'll actually should watch her documentary because it felt like her biography because it felt like she kept having to reinvent herself. Man. Every decade, she was out of style. She would come back with something. Mm -hmm. Everybody she didn't, she didn't want she didn't want the role in Golden Girls. She didn't want that role because it didn't play on her strength. But she ended up making that role strong mm -hmm. the way she played she it. Won Emmy. Yeah, she, she won an Emmy for that. When I tell you this lady, she could have been the sexy. I still watch Golden Girls. That, that, role no, girl. that lady, let me tell you something. She understands comedy. She understands improv. She was on. She she was around when the TV first came out. So <laughs> no no really. And she her first show was a variety show, but they were on TV five hours, five days a week. Did you see that ass though? <laughs> No, I'm just saying, but them old bitches better than no, she was fine. She was fine. Back then, she, that she, was she had like 2017 booty. Yeah, she had an ass. Like, she was fine. Yeah, she and she the only still living member from yes. the Yes. That's crazy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It was five of them, right? Yeah, four. Four. Yeah. No, she, 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 she had the concert. And I, and I just thought, to me, that was just a testament as actors. You can't get That's stuck. That's a blessing. Yeah, and I'm saying, you can't get stuck in one way. Not even just movie. an actor, just anybody. You, like, have to be, you have to be saying yes to everything and working and everything else, reinventing yourself, creating opportunities, creating content. And she did that. Saying no sometimes. Yeah. Somebody got to say, say no. You say yes to everything. Well, you know, I'm just saying, you know, yeah. you're trying different things. You know, I'm trying to do it. Just. Sometimes you gotta say do your thing yeah. and use this social media. Use the, this Leonardo thing. DiCaprio. Oh yeah. Yes. yes. There you go. Yes. Yeah. He was in Growing yeah. Pains. Yeah, he was a can. kid, Damn. and now he's Leo. huge. Oh wow! wow. Well, he just raises, got some info. Raise the, he raises to fifteen dollars an hour. Wow. Is that 15? 15. Go ahead. Minimum wage has been. Yeah, yeah. I'm finna go downstairs and give me a job and <laughs> shit for life. Wait. Wait. The, are you serious? Yeah. That's good. good. $15 so, an hour so, as okay. minimum we just, wage. We just got the news that Mayor Kasim Reed, yes. I guess trying to get a, his election, get real. Oh, he out. No, he's no, 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 yeah, he's already he's had his. So he's living his legacy. He's just a point where, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do what I want. How many, how many terms can Mayor do in Atlanta? Two, I think. There's two? Term. Okay. Some cities ain't got terms. So he just raised the minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour. That's what amazing. county got to be a full county? The city of Atlanta. The city of Atlanta got to be a city of Atlanta. Oh really? Well, he's going to be over. I know. But he had nothing to do with it. Uh, Dang. Hey, no. <laughs> Chauncey Billings. Chauncey Billings just like a city. <laughs> Chauncey Billings just offered the, uh, yeah. the what is it? This, this is amazing. Chauncey Breaking Billups news. offered a five-year contract to the be picture. the Cavs GM. Chauncey Billups. A black oh, retired oh. basketball Come on now. To on be now. the Cavs, the GM. A, a, a GM. winning franchise with the biggest player in the world, LeBron James. Wait, 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 wait. Say it again. What? So the GM just gone. They are, yeah, yeah, they right. fired him a few days. Oh, uh, okay. But to, okay, tell you, when this, you is, lose, this is huge. You out. <laughs> but no, but it, it wasn't really so much that. It just felt like it wasn't happening with personnel. But to bring in a Chauncey Bills, a retired right. go Pistons, guard, go Pistons, go players, mm -hmm. to be the GM of, of, a, of a team like that. I mean, right. that. that but it worked for Joe, it worked, it worked for Joe Dumars good? in Detroit as well. Joe Dumars right. at the time in uh, 04 was the, but the best uh, GM in the game. Right. And What's that going to do, though? What's, what, why is that good? He selects who comes to the team. He, he, oh, how much he money puts he puts together the oh, person okay. contract, and, and, and then you got to think about that whole. There, I always say there's a thing with GMs in any sport: the core to get a not core, but the, getting a player to want to play there. GM is, is like uh, uh, Beyonce's mom to the. Uh, <laughs> you got to you got to relate everything to her and, and Beyonce's Beyonce's Beyonce. 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 Well, you know the Beehive, like how she there, you know. So, so you know how those first two members had to go, and then they brought two more in. So the mom is the GM. Ah. That's, what, that's what he does. Okay. <laughs> well, big shout out to Chauncey Bill. That's it's always you. good to see. And then he's not, you know, he's not broke and everything else. So no, no, no. Because you, know, you hear so many athletes go broke and everything else, have this terrible life, and he's really, at this point, you know, he's making a bigger. And he got a ring. What's Michael Jordan doing? Shouldn't Michael Jordan like yeah, he, start he, coaching he, and stuff? Well, he always Charlotte Hornets. 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 He always the Hornets. He never. He'll never he'll coach. What's the Hornets now? He'll never coach. He not Michael Jordan. He's not, and, he's, and he's not a good GM. No, he's one. He's an sure. owner. He, he's one. He was one of the. He's, he's the best player of all time, but one of the worst GMs of all time. Mm -hmm. Worst GM. He he's just can't owner. make decisions. He's not a good manager. He's not a good. I think he thinks every pick he's he made thinks was from he's, he's he's a he's a player. So selecting personnel and knowing how they bring the best out of other people, he doesn't know. They even 
they brought that's that why up he should be a coach. He debate. knows how to. No, he doesn't. He knows how to make himself good. Mm -hmm. They said that. They said, yeah, he, 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 he wants people to play up to his level. He's yeah. he 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 like a team. Right. Yeah. He's a horrible guy. <laughs> Well, hey, thank oh, you guys. That's, that's, that's all our time for today. Yeah, thank you guys this for we are. Our producer, thanks for sitting yeah, in. Yeah, sitting in, Mick Steve. 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 Okay, we're we're in the building. This is the full troop, guys. Yes, yes. This is us. What's up? That's Industry what's up. Scoop. There it is. Industry See you guys scoop. next week. Uh, same thanks time, same place. There it is. Good.